And I took the cap off of this accelerator to take a look on the inside. And it looks pretty bad. So I am going to see if I can zoom in on this. It's pretty messy. So I am going to remove the accelerator box, clean it up, and test it and see if it's still functioning or see if I need to replace some of the parts in there. There's only a potentiometer and a switch that are inside of there. Um, so I'll get it cleaned up and I'll test those. Hopefully everything's good and I can reuse it. All right, time to mount up the new uh, DC converter. Using the same bracket from the bad one that I removed. And get some washers. All right, today, as you can see, I'm working on the wrap. I started out laying down my knifeless tape. This is so I can cut my seams. I have that all laid out. I did that before I started laying the wrap.
this one. brush is is what runs the current through the armature but you can see this has like parts of the brushes all caked in there so I'm going to clean that all off and these brushes are freaking shot they are jammed in place they're supposed to move freely in and out of these channels with these springs putting pressure against the motor guarantee you that's why this thing doesn't work this is all jammed up so I'm going to have to replace the brushes and clean that up and then the motor should be good to go. So I'm happy. I'm not going to have to spend 800 bucks for a new motor. All right, so quick update on the motor. So I got this all cleaned off. All the carbon buildup from the brushes that was on there. Got it nice and clean. Now these brushes are stuck. They're stuck inside the brush holders. I was able to get this one out with a lot of work, but it's damaged, they're deteriorated. And you can see the inside of there, it's got a lot of carbon buildup and that's why they're stuck. It's, it's stuck to the sides of the brush holders. So I ordered a new one of these and I ordered a new brush set and hopefully this motor will be good to go. I wired it direct, directly to uh, battery power to test it, uh, but I have to do that after it's back in the cart because there's only a bearing on one side of the motor. The other side, this bottom side, rides on uh, the shaft that goes into the, into the rear differential and uses the bearing as part of the, the differential housing. All right, so I got the new brush holder, new brushes. So I'm gonna start assembling that and then I'll put it back in the motor. So it looks like these two are connected and these two are connected. My stud for that one is on the right hand side. So that will go there. This one will go here. Remove, remove these springs. There we go. Get that out of the way completely. All right, and these move freely. Not like these, they're stuck, stuck in place. And then this other one, the long side goes in here. And then this one will go, let's see how this one is. Most likely like that. All right, so this can go just like that. Okay, now we should be ready to put this back into the holder. And won't forget to use my isolators, insulators. All right, so I have my new insulators here and additional hardware.
All right, so now I'm doing the fun job of installing the motor.